Awake, directed by Mark Rosso and stars Gina Rodriguez, Ariana Greenblatt, and Shamir Anderson. So Awake is about a devastating global event that wipes out all electronics and eliminates people's ability to sleep. But a former soldier may have found a solution when she finds out that her daughter is able to sleep. So this movie actually takes an interesting and pretty unique approach to the apocalyptic genre. And you guys please correct me about this if I'm wrong, but I don't think that we've ever gotten a film before in the past that involves everyone in the world losing the ability to sleep. So I actually thought that aspect of the movie alone was, you know, interesting enough to capture people's interest. And it was able to mostly keep my interest throughout the runtime. I mean, I would say that they executed this idea fairly well, like it, it worked. And also another thing that I liked that they actually did as well was that we get to see how this event specifically affects different groups of people throughout the world. From like religious groups, for example, to law enforcement, to criminals, scientists, and like scavengers. You know, of course, criminals and scavengers, they already have malevolent, you know, uh, inner thoughts probably, but you really get to see what those things are and how they come out in this particular situation where everyone's sleep deprived. I mean, we basically witnessed this mother trying to navigate this new world as mankind sinks into this uh, chaotic primal state of mind. And I think the movie is pretty accurate when it comes to the general idea of people's behavior if everyone is sleep deprived. There's definitely going to be a whole lot of crazy shit going on. And I think the movie captures that element really well. I will say this much about the movie though, and this might not be necessarily a bad thing, but it did kind of irk me a little bit. And I found it to be a little unnatural when it came to caring about these characters. I mean, the performances aren't bad. And you get the idea that this mother is doing what you would expect any loving mother to do in this type of situation. And I also thought that she mostly conquered this role of portraying a strong female lead, but the movie felt aggressive to me when it came to emotionally investing in these characters. And her performance in that role, I, for some reason, I don't know, but I just wasn't buying it. And it's probably because this world feels a lot more plot and world driven than it does more so like a character driven narrative throughout this movie. But for me, luckily the premise alone was enough to keep me watching. And mainly the big mystery of just how they plan to wrap this shit up is what kept me very, very intrigued. And in the end, it all makes logical sense and I think it works out given their circumstances. I mean, and it's sort of an extreme solution by the end of all of this shit, but uh, I, I think the phrase that they are going for here throughout the film once you finally get to the climax and see the ending is that pretty much desperate times calls for desperate measures. You know, once you see how they're able to kind of find a solution to this issue. This is honestly not a bad movie at all though, in my opinion, but they do make some mistakes, especially with some character choices, but I gave them a slide because everyone's doing dumb shit throughout the film due to lack of sleep. So I was like, you know, okay, whatever. But then after that, there's a situation that occurs about halfway through the movie in the second act, I believe, where the characters come across some pretty brutal scavenger type people. And I promise not to reveal much at all here or anything important. I just want you guys to take note of this sequence when watching, or if you've already seen the film, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. But there's a barrier during this scene that the characters run into, and it never quite makes any sense exactly how they get past this barrier. And I I thought that scene was just asinine, but maybe I just missed something or maybe they missed something during the production of the movie, but I won't go any deeper than that to avoid, you know, major spoilers. I just wanted to sort of throw that out there so you guys can kind of look for it uh, during a first watch or even think about it if you've already seen the film. So I'm giving Awake a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, it has some issues, but I think the concept that they introduce and execute throughout the film is actually quite interesting and entertaining. And I'm not sure if most audiences would agree after seeing the film, but from my personal opinion, I would say that I found the ending to be pretty satisfying. And I can honestly say that I think that they ended this film on a high note. But anyway, if you're interested in checking out Awake, it releases Wednesday, June 9th, exclusively on Netflix. But there you have it, and if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.